Hey, you finally get to see your favorite car. Yes. It's a Huawei. And walking past the parking lots. Coming down the biggest hill in the state to the cars and coffee caffeine event. Oh wow, I see some fancy stuff over there by the water hazard and a lot of golf carts. Hey y'all, welcome back to Ducks Cars. Uh, hey, it's uh, Saturday at uh, Amelia Concord weekend and it is Cars and Coffee morning. So we're gonna check out Cars and Coffee and uh, it's gonna be some awesome stuff here. Oh, this is the new Espada that the recreation of. What on earth? This thing is amazing. Uh, the seats do not look very comfortable and it's very covered in dew, but... Oh wow, yeah, it's just aluminum seats with... <laughs> I like that shifter. And yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, you finally got to see your favorite car. Yes. It's a... Whoever. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. You can see where the tire kicked up. Road to Brist, but what a beautiful car. I mean, these are obviously complete works of art. Uh, oh, there's some more. That's really interesting where it just, it just kicks up all the debris from the field. Leather straps. You already got yourself a drink? Look at that. What? Where'd you get that? Oh, grab it. It's heavy. It's oh. Substantial. oh, it's a winery, yeah. It's a okay. wine bottle yeah. topper. Uh, you, yeah, all you yeah. gotta do oh. is buy a beer over there. Say, I'll buy a beer over there and then wine, wine bottle yeah. top? Okay, okay, good to know. What you kind should, of beer is that? You should not, not get it. It's oh, a Okay, a, a, a brewer's Vosch gold. Okay. And it's, I think it's the, It's very close to a dunkel, but it's not. Close to a dunkel? It's oh. not the dunkel. Oh, watch out for the golf carts. It's very good. Or the dunkel. It's not the, <laughs> this is not the dunkel. Y'all, this is one of the new Glickenhaus models. Very, very beautiful cars from uh, Connecticut, I believe. Or we're upstate New York, I apologize. Wow, look at that interior and the shifter. So you've got three abreast, like you would in uh, McLaren. Huh. That is amazing. Picture of the back here. Yeah, okay, Connecticut, I was not wrong. So, uh, okay, it's a Corvette LT4. Very cool. I mean, that is just amazing. You like it? No. <laughs> oh, I got all this crazy music going on, but look at this beautiful rover. Oh, it's a manual and there's leather everywhere. And I obviously have found the rover here because I'm wearing my Land Rover hat as I always do. Wow, that is gorgeous. And yes, I will definitely take that. Uh, hey, hit subscribe so I can afford one of these. Ooh. <laughs> Are you buying one of those? No. <laughs> Two. Two? Oh, ooh, it's got fancy <laughs> doors. Right? Fancy doors. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Well, they have more expensive cameras than I do. It's wow. <laughs> one more, one more. It seems... <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more of the Hispano Suiza. This year will... But more importantly, over here we have an LM02, one of the coolest Lamborghinis ever made. That we have casinos, we have white hotels with a red interior. Fantastic. If I remember correctly, these tires are no longer made. There's some checking on the tires because they don't make these anymore. So you're stuck with those tires. And there's just casually a Diablo GT. Oh, this is from Curated. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, Oh, a Venturi. Wow, I don't know that I've ever seen a Venturi before. Check out the carbon fiber weave on the top and just make it out. Beautiful blue XJ220. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the first time I've seen an XJ220 in person, even though I've been here before. Center lock wheels, got the vents in the, in the front. There's the V6 that people hated because it wasn't a V12 and the beautiful interior. But more importantly, here's an F40 for you. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if this was actually Sir Nigel Mansell's himself. Italian tag on the back, race interior. Oh, pardon me. Um, look out for the water hazard if you're playing golf today. But here we've got a 25th anniversary Countach. Look at the color combination. I ordered a BMW in this color combination, a 340i M Sport. It, but it never showed up and I ended up with an M4, but this is beautiful. I mean, absolutely perfect color combination. Without a doubt, beautiful color combination in there. Go ahead and get a little picture of the engine so you can see that and the, and the engine hood up. And of course, let's just be honest, you gotta love the Lambo doors when they're actually on a Lambo and not on a Nissan Sentra. 
Uh, so here's the Allard. This has been upgraded with a Chrysler engine. I believe a lot of these came with Cadillac engines initially, but from what I understand, um, this is Wayne Carini's, and, or he just sold it here. And it was upgraded with the Chrysler engine after the fact because the Cadillac engine blew up. Look at that engine turned dash, it's beautiful. You got the speedometer here because of course the navigator cares about the speed more than the driver of the banjo steering wheel. A beautiful leather interior. Oh, okay. Um, this McLaren is also very pretty, a great color combination. Um, yeah, and uh, this is the kind of stuff you see at Cars and Coffee here. And oh, wow, uh, Rolander Boxa. Wow. These were not sold in the US, if I remember correctly, when they were new, but of course now they're old enough to be imported. Wow, very, very nice. They've got the deep dish wheels. Uh, 512 Berliner Boxer. Very, very cool. Very, very rare. Very, very beautiful Ferrari. This whole thing is a BMW event. And, oh, hey, a fellow Hoobies Garage fan. They've got an M1 up there, but I'm more interested in this beautiful <laughs> E28 M5. Uh, Dr. Zoom, Dre Zoom. I'm not sure how you pronounce your Instagram name, but look him up. He's fantastic. He has the best tag ever. I saw this car here last year. I love the pinstriping. It is obviously the perfect color combination. Although I believe this is the only color combination these were sold in in the U.S. for the couple years they sold them here. But this thing is just absolutely glorious. I hope to meet him um, panning around. Uh, of course, we can't ever not go look at the E30. It's an Obogo, um M3 as well. Oh, there's an M clown shoe. Oh, just this former BMW owner and future BMW owner is uh, very much enjoying seeing all this goodness here. And it's just BMWs as far as I can see. There's a TI over there, an M5 clone wagon. Wow, very, very cool. My apologies, that was not the right M5. Neither is this, because he has 17 inch style fives on his, oh, Estoril Blue M3. Wow, and another clown shoe. I've got to find his car. It's got to be around here somewhere. I know he was driving it here. Oh, I mean, look at all the sharks. Oh, this is a Deenan. Mm, beautiful red. E39 here. Uh, E34 M5 with the original wheels before they did the throwing stars. We won't talk about that because no. Um, hmm, I don't even know where to go because these are all just so amazing that... Uh, Wow. <laughs> they even have the car club, uh, BMW car club tags up in New York. That's true. I keep forgetting about that. That, that would be a reason to tag a car there, um, other than the fact that they require state inspections. Here we go. This has got to be his car. Fantastic. I mean, it's, again, black with the, the sand beige interior because that's the way they came, but beautiful car with a titanium silver uh, E39 M5 probably my most favorite BMW of all time parked right behind it back when the grills were still acceptable in size I'm just gonna walk around and, and show you all some cool stuff that's here uh, wow a Lotus uh, or Europa the, uh, I don't know that I've seen one of these in person I know that um, the hack mechanic Rob Siegel in Boston, who's a BMW CCA guy, has one of these in his garage that he's been restoring. Look at the size difference between a later model Shelby Mustang and this Lotus, which is, weighs like nothing and it's made out of fiberglass. <laughs> More modern Lotus, of course, here. Next to, <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Mm-hmm, 88 IROC Z. Wow, has the good wheels. These were all automatics if you got the 5.7, if I remember correctly, which I always thought was a bit odd, but hey, this thing is cherry, not just because it's red. It is in beautiful shape. Euro headlights on this Benz, um, spicy Toyota. Oh, here we go. Fox body notchback 5.0 LX Mustang. Very cool. Very cool indeed. 1956 Ford F100. Looks like it's a resto mod of some kind. Um, the interior is certainly upgraded and it's got a column shift automatic. But look at the, the moon dog dish upcaps. Beautiful gray paint. Uh, SVT here, but I'm more interested in this 10th anniversary 280ZX. <laughs> that is fantastic. Look at this power. Oh, a TBR. Oh, um, I'm going to have to go. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm going to overwhelmed mode. Look at this power wagon. This is, uh, of course, it has a Cummins in it. That means it's automatically worth 
$200,000 because all Cummins are worth it. It's got a built in winch next to that, another a 240Z. Wow. This is, this is the Cars and Coffee to go to if you want to go to a Cars and Coffee. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's only once a year. 2.3 turbo on this on this Fox body. So, and it's got the three spokes. Well, I guess you could technically call it more than three spokes, but now look at this interior. Uh, yeah, cruise control on the steering wheel, power windows, factory air, fully loaded. This is cool. And an Aston or an Austin, depending on what you want to call it. I saw one of these last summer at the Lane Museum in Nashville, Tennessee, when I was up there to drive the VW XL1. But this one is newer and wow, it's, it's actually got airbags and all kinds of beautiful wood and a trunk. Wow. Now this is from South Carolina. So this is a newer design of the Morgan that had the eyes that looked at each other that people didn't really care for. It's still got BMW switch gears, you can see on the turn signal stock there. Very, very, very cool. And oh, just casually an E-type with the bonnet up. <laughs> and what a beautiful straight six. Um, yeah, there, there's the field. Just kind of pan the field so y'all can pause it and look at all this goodness if you so desire. 30th anniversary Trans Am. And it's a Daytona pace car. Look at the blue chrome on the wheels. Just casually a Viper GTS sitting next to it. <laughs> um, y'all need to come here and visit. Tomorrow, this is where they'll be judging the cars at the Concours. Um, but uh, that will be in a separate video. And please hit subscribe. Yes, I'm asking for that. So you can see tomorrow's video. I just walked over uh, a, a fairway and came over here. And oh, hey, for all of my British car fans, here is a Morris Minor with the wood grain stuff on it. And then, um, <laughs> look at this. Mm, we'll always love a Buick Grand National Regal with the turbocharged 3.8 grade interior, especially with the embroidered Turbo 6 on the headrests, NAS D90 Defender parts, like right next to it, because why not? Winch up front, light bar, nicely upgraded, beautiful Rusto Mod. Camaro here with the houndstooth interior, drop top, and uh, it's got uh, the, the proper automatic shifter if you're doing automatic in these, but this is a cruiser and it's a drop top, so why not? I'm walking toward this Mahari because I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these because, of course, I don't think they were sold here. Citroen didn't really have a presence in the U.S. And it's got the crazy shifter, just like a 2CV. And it's beautiful. And, of course, you've got <laughs> three whole bolts holding the wheel on. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess it decided it wanted to close its hood. Good thing it didn't cut my hand off. <laughs> I have found the Porsche area. Now, last year here, if you go back and watch that video, there were like 3928s here instead of just this this one that's uh, actually a stick. So kudos. Um, oh, a 968. I was just looking at these down at Brumos not that long ago. Beautiful, like pull out sunroof, just panel. Oh, sorry, it's 944. Flip up headlights, not a 968. And then we have one here that's uh, it's got the scaffolding in the back. That's what I do. Um, 924? Wow. There's some cool stuff here. I mean, it is a Cars and Coffee, so you've got to expect that there's going to be regular driver quality things, which is what makes this cool. There's nothing wrong with the Concours, but these people drove these cars here. They were not brought here on a truck. 993, proper five spokes, and that's a stick. Oh, and we've gotten Safari All The Things, of course, because that's a thing now, but also I fully, fully appreciate Safari All The Things. I like the suction cup. Um, that's uh, those ramps, I guess, you use to get when you're stuck out of the ground. This off-road, I believe I saw at uh, Caffeine and Octane. Yes, I think this is the one I saw at Caffeine and Octane in Jacksonville a couple months back. This is a great color. Wow. I like the center lock wheels. I don't like the trans... Uh, no, I think that is actually a manual. Beautiful color. Oh, all these Porsches are just amazing. This classic club coupe was just unveiled yesterday at the Works Fest here. What a great color combination. Classic series, so they've redone it. It's got black Fuchs wheels, a great interior, ducktail spoiler, and it is an, an official Porsche release 
just a good looking car and they're finally like doing stuff with the headlights that everybody hates <laughs> which are not that bad really this uh, mm, no, this is cool i like this royce i have found east coast classics greenbrier oh uh that's 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 again I mean, we're not here for <laughs> this this is east coast classic screen bar he drove it down from delaware no no kidding Dela, delaware delaware yeah I, I forgot to meet Dela him who? he's around he's gotta be around here somewhere <laughs> that thing is cool i mean it's a corvan i uh this section is the good section oh okay all right well i've got the that camera there, yeah. is that another car you want for your birthday all of them okay brown ferrari brown interior it's just brown that's fantastic I mean, it is 70s anyway, but it's brown. It's a brown Ferrari. I absolutely want a brown Ferrari. If you watched my hangar video, you know that we got to see this Hemi Challenger that's completely original, unrestored. There's the aftermarket alarm system. You've got this beautiful interior with the houndstooth and again, the crocodile top. I think it's one of one of those. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it still has the tow hitch on the back that someone put on on day three of ownership it is fantastic you uh, like you like the hoses are new no no those those, those, hoses, are, those, are, those are new hoses uh well and they I'm, might be reproduction but i'm pretty I don't, sure those don't the look alternator new. as well no no that, that's that's an aluminum casing alternator so it, it's just clean maybe so. i don't i don't think this has been the hoses have been replaced you think <laughs> <laughs> they just started up the f40 enjoyed this quick tour of the cars and caffeine yeah, event here the new Haggerty event here at the Amelia it is Saturday tomorrow is Sunday I'm heading over to Radwood now stay tuned for that video because I'll be making a separate video on that and there's also Concord of Lemons which is a personal favorite that will also be a separate video just to make it easier for everyone hope you all enjoy this please hit subscribe to watch my other videos from this fantastic weekend and all the other fun stuff here on Doug's Cars thanks for watching